Hello again. Welcome to our most recent uh, chance to visit a little bit about what's up at St. John's. This is the sixth of seven weeks of Easter, and it's always during the sixth week that we celebrate the Ascension. So uh, even though it's not a holy day of obligation, it is still a holy day, uh, and it celebrates this great truth that Jesus who has entered into this new reality of his glory and his glorified body, now takes that humanity of ours and is uh, the new way we will know him in heaven as he returns to his Father uh, who sent him. So the ascension kind of is that additional piece of the Easter mystery that uh, fulfills what we were celebrating all along, clear back to Christmas, Christ has entered our world uh, through his mother Mary and through his death and resurrection now takes that humanity to the Father and will draw us there one day as well. So the Ascension is uh, the great celebration of Christ's full, complete salvation of the world. It also triggers the sending of his Holy Spirit. So. <clears throat> the original novena, which means nine days, begins on Friday as we make the nine-day countdown between the Ascension and Pentecost, calling on God to keep that promise of sending His Holy Spirit to uh, give birth to and sustain the life of His church until the end of time. So Pentecost is a very big deal, uh, and the Ascension is between the resurrection and the coming of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Leo the Great, one of the great teachers of the church, reminds us that the immortality that God gives us is not just some sort of fuzzy spiritual uh, soul uh, that God redeems, but the full person of uh, us human body and soul. And so that's the great additional truth of our belief in Christ's ascension into heaven. And where he has gone, we hope to follow. Additionally, it's the great truth of the church that Christ has gone to prepare a place for us, but he has not separated himself from us or from our human condition. Uh, he stays and, and he goes. Uh, that mystery is uh, celebrated in every Eucharist. So God has big plans for us, uh, not just rising from the dead, but ascending to this fullness of sharing his Father's house, the divinity Christ wants to pour into us. Uh, this also is the, the week we sent out this little letter about DDP, and uh, I want to be the spokesperson for the parish in thanking each of you who have, again, been participants in the DDP, the Diocesan Development Program that became the CSA, the Charity and Stewardship Appeal, uh, under Bishop Bruskowitz and with Bishop Connolly has continued to be one of the great ways we fund things at the diocesan level that don't have a way of funding themselves uh, completely. In the Newman Center, the Retreat House, uh, the pro-life work of the church, youth ministries. So thank you in the name of the parish. Our goal was 103 thousand four hundred dollars and we are currently at ninety nine thousand um, dollars plus so we're close and we've mailed out uh, the cards in the envelope for you to return your pledge card in and helping us reach that goal again just to say what I think everyone already knows uh, for a parish like St. John's that supports in Catholic elementary and a Catholic secondary school Pius X we receive 80 cents on every dollar collected and 100% over our goal of 103,000. So once we get there, it, it all returns to us and we've got it budgeted into our plans for um, continuing our uh, ministry of Catholic education available, affordable for all at St. John's. Please take a minute to uh, take a look at that letter. If it comes to you in the mail, it means we haven't quite heard from you yet. Also this weekend, the Knights of Columbus have a little car show, and it's this Saturday from 10 to 2, and it includes uh, the opportunity to see some fabulous 
uh, vintage cars, along with live music, uh, family fun, food. The Knights of Columbus are putting together some um, lunch, so come and join us. They're calling it the first annual, so uh, we're anxious to see uh, how people respond. All we got to have is uh, good weather, so one of the Knights told me I was in charge of that. So pray with me for uh, good weather. We also pray for the rain we desperately need. So that's our game plan for today. And I printed a little prayer for the ascension. And I put it somewhere. It's in, there we go. I was reminded when I was thinking about the ascension St. Joseph, uh, the Holy Fathers asked us to dedicate this year to a kind of renewed awareness or prayerfulness with the great patron and um, protector of the church is one of his titles, St. Joseph. And after somewhere along the line, uh, Joseph dies as Jesus is growing up. And uh, it's not, the date is unknown to us, only that he's not present uh, for the public life of Jesus or uh, when Jesus is crucified and rises from the dead. Uh, St. Joseph is not mentioned or uh, known to us in the pictures. So one of the great truths of the faith is that on Easter, uh, in preparation for his own resurrection, Jesus descends to the realm of the dead and he goes and he finds not just Joseph, his dad, but Adam and Eve. Uh, those who have waited and longed for the salvation Christ will gain for all human persons, those who've preceded us and those who will follow us. The uh, great truth of the family of the church is that not a single one of those is uh, to be lost. So I think about dads and grandpas that have preceded us to heaven, and uh, Joseph's in that company. Uh, an Ascension Day prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, right before your ascension into heaven, you told your apostles to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth upon receiving his Holy Spirit. May I be similarly inspired to spread your gospel message in word and deed according to your will for me. And may I do so prudently and joyfully with your help, your guidance, and your grace. And remembering this glorious event, this reunion of a father and a son, help me to seek what is above heaven, where you are seated at the right hand of God the Father. Amen. May God bless you. Happy uh, solemnity of the ascension, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.